Okay, we got something exciting going on, guys. Hey. This is something different. If you want to check this out, be sure to check out the link below because it is going down. So we have Zach here, seven colognes, five colognes. Who knows? We got five colognes for you guys for yep. springtime and it's about to go down, right, Zach? Yeah, we've got some good fragrance here for some much better lads, and uh, we're gonna guys, we're not gonna get you guys smelling, you know, okay, subpar, smelling the best. So, I mean, these ones here are gonna install more than enough confidence for you to go and conquer your spring and your summer. Yes, um, but yeah, we're gonna just do an in-depth review, you know, and uh, for just sure. have a good time, shoot the shit. There'll be a cream of the crop after this, man. There we go. Let's do it. No breaks. Oh yeah, no breaks today. So as you can see, we have a fantastic lineup and grateful that Arcway's got me out on the channel once That's again. Good. It's always a pleasure to work with you. And um, you know what? We got some good lads here and some much better fragrance. So let's go. Yeah, let's do it. So first things first, um, as you can see in our lineup, you know, we're just gonna try to show you some of our best fragrances. We already talked about the Creeds in the last video, um, but we're gonna focus on a couple new ones today. We'll make some unique, how you're gonna stand out and be memorable, and mm -hmm. every impression you make is gonna be the best, so. Amazing, amazing. Okay, so let's focus on the first one. Let's do this one right here, the Creed, right? Yes. Let's pull these back right now. Yeah. Let's start with the best first. So what is this? Like, what is this, first of all? First so, of all, I mean, if it's our spring fragrances, we're showing off our best. The Creed, so this one here was made for James Dean. One of the best Creeds in my opinion, especially for a spring wear. Mm. Um, violet leaf, ambergris, um, and iris opening. So very unique, like walking through the Scottish countryside. Um, but it's like, you know, a guy that drives like a sports car, you get that like, I don't know, it's just extremely unique. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Stands out, uh -huh. and um, the projection's fantastic. I always do this test where you spray it on your wrist, and then the next morning when you smell it, you know, if it's still there, you know, Creed, they always deliver that, and um, that's the whole point, in, you know, wearing good fragrance is the longevity, and just yeah. the way, you know, the impression it leaves on you, especially the next morning, right? Perfect. So it's like that after morning type of smell. Absolutely. So if you, if you smell it in the next day, you know it's a good cologne. Hundred <laughs> percent. Oh yeah, that longevity awesome. test is just you know it's it's like putting shelfy power in the car. You feel the octane right away. So for sure, let me show them the visual of what this looks like so they can definitely pick it up. Right. So how much is this and uh, how much is this ideally? So that's a 120 ml bottle. So Creed recently, what they did was they have shifted from 120 mls to about 100 ml size. This is so that it can go through the airport and it does not get seized. Um, 100 ml is good for travel size um, due to airport standards. But um, this is the older batch bottles. Um, but I guess you could say, you know, it's got that bougie look to it. It's got the matte finish. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the atomizers are very nice on the creeds. Um, Magnetic, right? No, I wish. they. Uh, it's not that futuristic like the Tior. Um, but you know what? Just uh, does the trick still. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah. But I mean, you know, it's seriously just known for this extremely unique scent. There's, you, you know what? Even Davidoff Cool Water, which is yeah. one of the comparables. I mean, once they're both put on the skin, the Creed yeah. just destroys it. Does um, it good. Does it good. Yeah, but compliment wise too, okay. I would say this and Aventus are easily my top two most complimented fragrances ever. Um, so how much would it, how much is it? So prices have jumped up. It's like the price of gold. It's always rising. But I mean, we're not spending money on this because it's Creed. We're spending money on this because it is truly the best performer. Um, but it's going to run you for about, I'd say, five fifty plus tax. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. a little bit more. Sure. Um, and I, I mean, you know what I say about anything when it even comes down to fashion, it's all about investing. So yes. at the end of the day, you're investing into quality pieces. Yes. I, I purchased sneakers that will be in the 300s, the 500s, and those are like, they're made from Italy, yes. and they're something that will last me life, lifelong time. So many viewers out there, when you look into certain things like perfumes, colognes, you look for something with long-term longevity, but you play within your tax bracket right now, but as you go up, look into something a little more, right? Yes. So this is perfect, yeah. Yes. Um, so I, I was gonna say, uh, how is this unique? So, like I said, you can go in the Hudson's Bay, you can go in a shopper's drug mart. There is going to be absolutely nothing that smells close to this, especially in terms of when it hits, like when it's applied on the skin yeah. um, and projection wise too, sure. but it's extremely unique. And 
uh, you know what I mean? Like, there's nothing that smells like it. So you want to leave a lasting, memorable impression. Yeah. You wear something that when someone walks by, like, what the heck is this guy wearing? For you sure. know, like, is that shelfy power on his neck? You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's yeah. got to be octane. So what's the tones? What am I smelling? If I close my so, eyes, if I was yeah. a blind person, what would I be smelling? Really? So I mean, I don't know how many people have gone to Scotland okay. or have been on that. You know, like. It's that unique, like, you're in the countryside, but there's, like, this fog that's carrying this very nice, like, earthy, floral-type tone. Okay. But then it has this, like, gorgeous, like, sea salt water breakdown with the ambergris bass note. Um, but it's almost like you're driving, like, an old-school Aston Martin, and you've got that unique confidence when you're wearing it. Um, so it's a light it's a light smell. It's not so heavy. It's I like would say it's wind. moderate. Yeah. Moderate. So it's a balance. Yes. Of both. But the blending is so unique that even when you smell it, um, you can't just pick apart specific notes. Yeah. So I mean, uh, you know, when you you wear it, you're not gonna be like, oh, I just I know what's in it. You're gonna be like, wow, what? your nose is just gonna be intrigued, it's right? A, it's a mystery. Like, what the heck like. is this? Yeah, like you'd have to really research to know what's in it for sure. to actually pick apart a note. Perfect, right? Perfect springtime. Yeah, clone. For Absolutely. Sure. All right, let's go into the next one. Then. Yeah. So we've got the Creed Silver Mountain Water here. Um, more of a mandarin, black currant, ambergris, and uh, sandalwood and musk. Uh, you know, fragrance. Um, seriously known for its extreme smoothness. Like when I mean smooth, I mean like when you smell it on the nose uh, and you know, you put on the paper on the hand, yeah. um, the projection, you know, the blending that, you know, Oliver Creed did with this, there's just really nothing that's comparable to it. Um, so when the nose smells it, I would say it's more kind of like, you know, you're, you're on a date with someone and yeah. you don't want something too heavy in their nose or even at work or whatever. But at the same time, when they smell it, like, you know, there's no jagged or sharp ridges to the nose. Yeah. It's just completely smooth, right? Okay. So it's addicting. It's also very tough to tell what's in it just because of the blending. Um, but these things are what intrigues the nose, right? So yeah, for sure, um, for sure. if I were to compare this one to the Green Irish Tweed longevity, mm -hmm. I would say the Green Irish Tweed lasts a bit longer and projects a bit more. Mm -hmm. um, but this one here, you know, you're wearing like a nice, you know, summer spring top. Um, sure. It performs very good in a warmer climate. Okay. So, so definitely maybe like the evening type of absolutely for, so for the gen that's going on for like um, like dinner or something. Yeah, or I would say um, more for the evening. So lunch, dinner for sure. But if you're going to the club, don't wear it just because if someone's smoking a cigarette or a cigar, you do not want the smoke to cover this one because this one does not perform good with smoke. So if you hit a dart, you know, you yeah. have a cigar, yeah. you're not going to want to wear this because the smoke kills the citrus. Okay. So uh, it seems like it's perfect for lunches, yeah. um, outdoors, balconies yes. type of vibe. Yes, yes, okay. absolutely. So very airy type Yeah, of you're walking, walking by the lake or you're going for, you know, perfect. just just any outdoor activity. Yeah. You know, if you put on your pulse points and it's warm outside, you are going to project and it has the gorgeous creek dry down. Sure. So yeah, it's just fantastic. So how much does this go for? Um, so all the creeds are typically oh. in the same range. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, if we're gonna talk current, so 100 ml, um, you know, the deal, it's like gold, right? It went up in price. It's gonna be still about 550, maybe a touch more. Makes sense. Um, and you're only getting 100 ml. This is a 120 ml. This is a, a 2015 batch. Now you can go online and you probably could find a 120 ml batch. And I strongly would suggest it because just like a fine aged wine, when creeds age, they get a nicer tone yeah. and they actually do like just it's you just have to experience it for yourself it's like wine it gets better time exactly yes, yes. <laughs> so definitely a good one if you want to drop the money for sure yeah and how is this unique like how is this distinguished from obviously the previous one but how is this unique as its own identity well i would say that the the two main notes there so the black currant the uh the citrus note the mandarin just it gives and the tea it gives it this unique sweet smooth scent to the nose so right. this original opening and blending yeah. it's just like you'll smell it you'll smell it again and you'll be like what the hell is in this and you know what that initial just you know just intriguing in the nose you know anyone that walks by you is going to have the same thing you know what is this guy wearing and you know one thing i could say is when people smell something with a sharp floral um florals typically you know they can irritate the nose but yeah. You know, this one isn't too much on the floral side. There is really not many florals in it. I think there's just one. So it's just very pleasant to majority of people's taste. And uh, it just has this unique, just gentleman type scent to it. Um, but it's just like, wow, it's like, you know, if you're close with someone and 
you know, you don't want to overpower their nose. Um, oh, yeah, you're definitely going to want to wear this. Amazing. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, now going into our second one for the spring collection. Yes. So what do we have here? So we brought out Mont Blanc Explorer. So this one here is in a much better price range than the Creed's. It has a very nice leather wrapped bottle, similar to the Creed Aventus. Um, but what makes it unique is the fact that it took three perfumers to basically copy to 80% degree the smell of Creed Aventus. So this is for the guys that, you know what, not everyone can justify spending about 550 on a bottle of fragrance, but that just because you spend 550, you know, you can spend 115, which is the price of this, and you can still smell fantastic. Now this one here has all the similar base notes to the Creed Aventus. Um, but the big difference is, is the base note. So that is amberoxin. So amberoxin is different than ambergris, which is found in the creeds. Uh, in our previous video, we talked about how ambergris, the whale vomit, um, you know, whale eats a big lunch. He uh, throws up and then, uh, you know, you're having a glass of wine in France on the beach and this piece of rock washes up and yeah. you know, it smells really good. Well, that stuff's expensive and that's why Creed is expensive. But you know, Mont Blanc just said, hey, we can go into the laboratory and get Bill Nye and the lads yeah, out here. Definitely. And uh, you know, we can make something that's similar to ambergris. So sure. um, this one here, fantastic fragrance. Uh, I would say one of my best in the mass market, especially for a new release too. Okay. Typically Mont Blanc is known for their pens, but um, in terms of fragrance, yeah. this one here was killer. Um, so I actually want to spray it on your hand and I just want to see your first initial reaction. Sure. How, so, how is it unique to you? So it's unique in the fact that it smells just like Creed Aventus and there's okay. seriously, you know, there's like Club de, la, Club de la Nuit that's, you know, very similar. Um, what is that for people who don't know? Uh, it's just a fragrance that if you look online for Creed Aventus flankers, yeah. that's one that pops up. Okay. Uh, there's another one, Insurrection Pier 2, that's also similar to the Creed Aventus and they're all really good. They all have different variations. Cool. But um, this one here, what they focused on was more of the pineapple batch from Creed. So as, if you get deep into the Creed Aventus, is, you know, uh, scent wise, um, there's different batches. Like, so there's ones that are more smoky, ones that are more at the pineapple batch. Um, so I mean, like you kind of want to find one that kind of suits your taste. Me personally, I like the ones that have more of a citrus fresh opening and as you're smelling it and it's just drying down, what do you think? Off the bat, it's like a fresh ocean breeze, man. That's the exactly the only way I can really describe it. It feels, it, it smells, and it feels like, like I got a grammar surfboard at the at the you know the shack, and I uh, you know there's cheesy fries waiting for me. There we go. At lunchtime. Oh yeah. So there's about to I'm about to catch a wave that's gonna be very serious, and this is something that I'll wear um, on the beach yeah. and foremost, but also just. At, a, at like an outing lunch. I yes, think sir. Some, somewhere in a sense of nature, but near the ocean. So it yeah. could be a beach house. I think this is a perfect smell for it. Yeah, so I mean, like, it's definitely that spring summer vibe. It really just, you know, it's it's very different to the nose. It's really laid back. Yeah. It's really laid back, for sure. And out of 10, what would you give it? Out of 10, eh? How about we smell all three? And then we'll give the review? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. So we're going to let that soak on the skin. Sure. But one thing that Creed Aventus is known for, you know, its opening is extremely nice. Okay. But it's seriously that dry down. So if you really? put even this one on the neck or the Aventus, yeah. you're spraying on all your pulse points, right? When you wake up the next morning and you smell that scent that's lingering in its base notes, this one is quite similar to the Aventus, which really shocked me. Yeah. Um, so it's just, you know, you smell, you're like, oh my God, like, how am I the only person, you know, I mean, if you've got someone next to you in bed and they're enjoying that with you too, fantastic. But I mean, you know, sometimes when, uh, you know, it's just me, I'm just like, what the hell, you know, like, I wish there was another nose here to be like, damn, this guy smells like the best, right? Yeah, so, sure. I mean, um, it's definitely one of my, like, favorite dry downs ever. Favorite, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Okay, now let's go into... The next one. Yes. So what are we looking at here and what is this? Yeah, so we've got Kellyan Vodka on the rocks. This so is first and first and foremost. That's why I say this actually looks very unique because the bottle is yes. so elegant and it, it's not so uh, expressive in size. Yes. It's nice and sweet, small size bottle. Let me show this to the camera. Yeah. So what is this? 
So it's um, Vodka on the Rocks by Killian. It was made to kind of describe like the feeling of going to the bar, taking a nice shot of vodka, which I'm sure a lot of you enjoy. And you know, it's something that you do every weekend and it's just something you look forward to throughout the week, especially on Monday. So, I mean, to enjoy that Friday night at the bar type feeling, you can shoot that off on your neck throughout the week, right? Even when you're at the bar and you're drinking vodka, you can be wearing the vodka too. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, um, what makes this unique though um, is the cardamom note and the amberoxin. Um, they didn't put a real ambergris in it, which kind of irritated me, especially for its price. Okay, wait, wait. What is that? What is all that? First of all, yeah, you wrote that down to me. Yes. So this one has the synthetic version, the amber uh, roxin. So amber roxin of uh, ambergris. So ambergris is the whale vomit, that okay. key base note. Okay. Amber roxin is a synthetic made in the lab. Um, so it does basically the same job. They're both steroid ingredients made to make an, a fragrance soak deep into the skin and then boom. Oh, so amplifies. Yes. Yeah, so you want your fragrances. You know, people come in and they say to me, hey, why is my fragrance not projecting? Why can't I smell it? For well, sure. maybe you didn't look at the base notes and see what was actually put in it. Of course. Well, this one does have that Arnold Schwarzenegger steroid ingredient. So, I mean, you know, you want your fragrance to be blasting away on the neck, right? So Fragrance on steroids. Yes, so sir. Nice. Yeah. So, I mean, that base note, um, the aldehyde base note too, which I forgot to mention. So, it's another chemical ingredient designed to just be a steroid ingredient and just mix with all the components and just boom on the skin. But it's known for this very, like, it's kind of like a high school scent, but at the same time, very different, very masculine, fresh, probably one of the freshest ones of the collection. Okay. And um, seriously, it's just killer. I get pure compliments when I wear it, especially yeah. for a warm day. Do not wear it on a cold day. Um, but yeah, one of my absolute favorites Jeez. and um, very appealing to the nose. So how is this one unique? Well, let's put it on your hand and let's see. So Killian, while we're letting that dry down, um, so the founder of Hennessy, his son is the guy that created this brand. So um, he wanted to be extremely different in a couple of their other fragrances. Uh, so um, they infuse, so because Hennessy, uh, you know, as we all know, it's a good time. Oh, yeah. um, but when they're making it, right, the yeah. barrels that it soaks in and ages in, they'll take pieces of the barrels and they will infuse it in the scent ingredients and then they'll put it in the bottle. So mm. you get that pure Hennessy note in there. Okay. This one doesn't have the Hennessy note, but there's a couple others too, like Intoxicated, uh, Black Phantom. Um, so another couple really good ones and we can show those off for more of a colder day fragrance, but this is a springtime one and uh, no Hennessy involved today, except for the founder. Good lad. Okay, this one is but so what are we thinking of this hmm. it's interesting because it's it's uh it's like um it's kind of like a floral it's almost like your your grandma's <laughs> your grandma's living room but yeah. it's a nice living room yeah <laughs> <laughs> let's locate in dubai yeah, there we go. On the 26th Inch floor. Dubai. On the 26th floor. Yeah, top floor. Fant house. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. For sure. She's definitely definitely modern. Yes. She's hip. Oh, yeah. And this is the type of smell to me is like people will wonder if you're dating an older woman. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like this, is, this is that cologne where it embodies that who are you around like who are you circled around because that is this cologne is completely different from any of these colognes that i've smelled so far yeah it's good it just stands alone from itself it speaks maturity to me right um, it speaks elegance it speaks volume and i feel like it it puts you in a category where you're almost like elite to the point of you have this boundary line of of who you are right and i think this clone really expresses that it really expresses something different here yes. so this one's actually quite different it's quite deadly but not i don't think every guy can wear it but yeah. i do feel like if you have that risk mentality if you have that risk-taking you know entrepreneurship type of vibe then you go for this one yes because it's something out your cat out your category but is something worth to try yes and i would say it's kind of more of like a date night fragrance it can be worn for every day so two drops in one definitely more spring summer wear not for cold days 
Um, but yeah, you know, like it's got that, you know, sexy vibe to it, but it's also- oh, I did that. Okay. So our next one, so okay, our next one here is what? The so one is yeah. we have Molecule One. Um, this one here is easily one of my favorite fragrances and something new that I've smelled recently in the past couple months. Um, but what makes this unique is the ingredient, the ISO E Super. Um, so it was designed by a German chemist. I feel like the Germans have made quite a few good things besides Mercedes Benz and all that, you know, the made in Germany stuff. Um, you know, this is like a Dr. Von Braun creation, you know, like this is, uh, an Albert Einstein, you know, in the laboratory, just some crazy, super unique ingredient that everyone is going to fall for, for sure. right? The fact that it says molecule one says, yeah, lab. it says we're in a laboratory. We're oh here. yeah. We're here to make something happen. This is, oh it. yeah. I mean, you know, Bill and I, we've all seen his videos. Great lad. I'm sure he's wearing this better fragrance. So I mean, um, but you know, you don't want to be a scientist unless, you know, it's the smart making money, but I mean, um, yeah, no, this is killer. And that ingredient it's sold seriously. This fragrance is one ingredient and it's ISO E super. Um, and this ingredient, what it does, it's similar to ambergris and amberoxin, those, uh, two steroid based note ingredients. Um, but what it's known for is like this extremely unique scent and it was created to just appeal to the masses like anyone that smells this scent this one ingredient and it gives it smells a bit different on everyone um there's like what the hell is this you know and the cool thing about this ingredient is this mixed with a green irish tweed mixed with a silver mountain water there's a couple others too. I'll shout out like Francis Kerjean, Rouge Back Rat 540 Extract, right? Even Creed Aventus. You mix this fragrance with anything in your collection and you're saying, oh, you know, originally all this fragrance isn't projecting, it's not doing this. You add in this steroid. So you're combining fragrances. Oh yeah. Is that what I'm hearing? Well, <laughs> yes, we're doing some Bill Nye stuff on the side. Interesting. But I mean, what we're doing, and you don't mix fragrances all the time. You're not supposed to, especially if you're wearing a Creed, you don't mix it with something else. For sure. Um, but I mean this, because it's one ingredient, one steroid ingredient, it was actually meant to be mixed. But at the same time, if you smell it just on its own, and there's a couple people say, oh, I've sprayed on myself and I couldn't smell it. Yeah, you didn't ask everyone else in the room what they thought because I know they could smell it. Wow. Um, even when it's put on the clothing, the longevity on the clothing, ridiculous. We're talking like weeks. So wow. I have a couple wow. jackets. I've sprayed it on the wrist. That jacket is locked in that scent. Every time I wear the jacket, it rubs back off onto my hand. And I'll smell my hand like, what the hell? I didn't put anything on. And you know what? I'm just like, this is actually beautiful to dry down. So yeah, if anyone ever wants to see combinations of us mixing colognes and what to mix and what to make the best scent smell. Yeah. Make sure you leave a comment section down below because if you know. guys want to see that, we'll do it. There we go. And um, yeah, so how much does this go for? Okay, so it, the reason why probably a lot of people have not smelled this or heard of it is because it's very hard to find in Canada. You can find it at Holtz. Um, you just gotta ask the right person and they'll show it to you. Um, but one thing I could say is um, Holt Renfrew, and I would say I think Saks does carry it. Um, other than that, you're not going to find it at the Bay. You're not going to find Shoppers or Sephora. Wow. So it's, I mean, you got to go a bit out of your way to find it. But I mean, um, I'm telling you, put it on your hand, mm -hmm. you know, smell it. Of course, if you can't smell it, of course, you know, it might affect your, you know, decision to buy it. It's not the cheapest one. It goes for about 200 a piece. But I would say, um, you know, everyone around you can smell it. It's guaranteed. Um, but when mixed with other fragrances, the way it makes a Creed boom, the way it will make um, even a Mont Blanc Explorer boom, right? So you want that projection of Creed, you mix this with this. Oh, don't give it away too. Don't give it away yet. I know, I don't know. Don't give it away yet. They want, they want to see that, they'll see it in the video. Yeah, well, well, we just gave you a little sneak peek there. Little, <laughs> right? That's the trailer sure. for the next if one. You want that boom effects. Boom, right. boom, boom. Here we go, yeah. you know the mix. But I would say, I want to see your first initial in, uh, impression because I don't for think sure. you've ever smelled something like no. this. Okay. So if you don't mind, we have a, we need to find some free real estate. Okay. Let's try it out underneath right here. So typically when I try on fragrance, especially if it's one I'm looking to buy, I don't typically put it here just because it'll rub off on the clothing. Um, you know, it, you won't get a full longevity factor. I normally spray where you put a watch right here. It's more undisturbed. Um, but because we've ran out of real estate, you know, we need to find a quick spot. So. We have a spot right there and 
I can already smell it. It's I love the scent. Um, but tell me what you think. Yeah, it is a hard one to smell. Right? Now, you know what's, I, do we have the coffee grains here? We didn't make a fresh cup of coffee. Yeah, I Fresh cup of coffee. Joe, you know? Because I would say after you smell about four, the nose becomes immune and you want to neutralize it so you can smell, so. It's like, it's like vanilla. It's like a, it's like when it's like a, your bar, it's like when your bartender just poured like a fresh uh, martini vodka, you know what I mean? Like yeah. It, it smells like, it smells exquisite. It has a vanilla bean smell to it. And um, it just represents to me like it, something to do with exquisite, you know, yes. exquisite lifestyle, um, that presence of the ambiance of being there, being present. And th that's just what it is. You get it as you see it. Yes. And I think that's what this actually uh, kind of represents. Yes. It has that James Bond vibe laid back um, at the bar, you yeah. know, you know, waiting for your date. If she doesn't show, you pick up one on the spot, you know. So that's something that's very unique to me in a sense. It's that vanilla bean smell. It smells, I was going to say lavender, but I don't think that's the right one. See, that's the thing. On everyone, it smells a bit different. And I can even put it on myself and we yeah. can see the difference. You tell us what you smell. I'm going to spray it here just because sure. I've got the real estate. Yeah, so I mean, of course you smell a bit of alcohol, but it's not like your casual alcohol like opening, like it's very different, but you know, the dry down, the longevity is stupid. I know even after washing my hands yeah. multiple times, you know, before dinner and everything, you know, you smell and you're like, what the hell, you know? And if you really want to test longevity, you put it where you wash your hands, you put it more on your hand, go wash your hands and then smell it. That'll simulate a day's worth of wear. Wow. So, I mean, you want to see that true test drive? It's like I said earlier, when you go to buy a car, you go and you test drive. You don't just say, oh, I like the look of the, the uh, you know, you, you have to drive it. You have, you have to see to. how it handles. I'm seeing how it handles right now on my wrist. So. That's a good technique. So after you spray it in your, your hand, wash your hand. And yeah. It represents a day of wear. I would say, yeah, like a full day because you've essentially tried to scrub it off. And when you sweat, let's say it's like, you know, summer's day, you're getting active outside, right? Of course, sweat will take it a bit off. Um, and fragrances as they dry down, you know, you know, you want to see, you're, you're basically simulating that on your skin. So yeah. you want to see how that works, right? What does it smell like for you? Did you, did you say it? So for me, yeah. and it's like super, super tough to explain because okay. like, you know, this I saw super is like, you know, I do smell like kind of like a lavender to it, Yeah. but it's got this sharp addicting spice. And personally, I actually didn't even want to show this one. I wanted to keep it secret for myself. Because I know the impression every time I wear it. Mm. People are like, what the hell are you wearing? And I just want to lie and say I'm wearing something else. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? I want to help with some good lads, find some better fragrance. Sure. And um, yeah, I feel like every guy definitely needs this in their collection. Sure. Especially if they have a favorite that they need to amplify. They want their, you know, so they're wearing like an Armani and they want it to boom more in the skin. Yeah, you add a bit of this. Yeah, so if right? you want something unique for any guy around the world watching this, is you want, you want something unique, Go for something like this. Have it in your catalog amongst your other colognes. Stands out than the rest. And um, best believe your friends are not going to have this. So yes, <laughs> yes check this I, out. Yeah, you step into the room. You're guaranteed. I, I, at least quite a few people are going to be like, what is this guy wearing? Even when you give someone a hug, you know, and it's on your neck, say a little bit lower and it rubs off on them. They'll smell themselves and be like, damn, like I didn't put anything on, but I smell fantastic. What the heck, you know? Yeah. And then every time you come back and you see those people that you, you know, left that impression with, they're going to be like, you know, that they're going to associate that scent with you. You are going to be memorable. Mm -hmm. And that's what you want with fragrance. You don't want to blend in. You want to stand out. So this is a standout kill.